This is Joe from Vortex again. Another tool we've made for uh, gas and liquid sampling. This is a low pressure sampler. Very similar to our uh, electric operated unit. Similar principle. It uses a syringe. This one's hydraulically operated of course. Cylinder on the top here. It operates a syringe. Up and down. The check valve above the funnel. You can see here in the test tank clearly the um, gas bubble which is sitting in the uh, in the funnel, nice and clear to see. So as the uh, syringe moves up, draws in the gas or liquid into the syringe. Once it's full, you can recover the surface. Discharge out of here from the QD into the sample bottle, or you can discharge while they're still in the water. If you uh, weren't happy with the sample or you want to go to another location, simply run the syringe back down, discharge out, and it'll come out the exhaust relief valve here, and then you can continue the cycle again. We've got another bleed valve over here, if need be, on the, on the deck. Got a 30 vacuum to 30 psi gauge. The uh, suction check valve cracks at around 8 to 10 inches of vacuum. And the relief exhaust valve is set to uh, around 12 to 15 psi. The casing itself, the syringe casing, is rated to around uh, 70 psi. So we're well within um, safe limits for that. The idea being that as the uh, gas sample has recovered the surface, of course you're going to get expansion. So what it will do is automatically bleed over the, um, the relief valve, constantly maintaining no more than 12 to 15 psi of, uh, of gas pressure inside the sample. Of course when you get back up into the surface, Plug the bottle into here, discharge the cylinder down, and that'll blow out here into this into the bottle, and of course venting any extra uh, over 12 to 15 psi at the uh, exhaust valve. So we'll fire it up shortly and uh, show you the operation. So we're just going to show you the operation, basic operation of the tool. Syringe heading up the ways. All right, let's say that gas sample is full. If you want to discharge while in the water or on a deck, so you run the syringe back down. See here, the pressure starting to build now. That's compressing the gas. Just start to relieve. So a maximum of about 17 psi. Started to crack at 12. Get to maintain the constant 15 psi in there. So that shows the exhaust valve working as the gas increases in volume on the way to the surface. That'll automatically uh, keep it down to a safe limit. We'll try now with a liquid sample. Right, I've just inverted the um, funnel to remove any of the air. So I've got nothing but liquid in there now. And we'll start to draw the liquid into the funnel. See the vacuum building, cracking over the inlet valve, inlet relief valve. You can see there the liquid being drawn in, drawn in. Add a little bit of air in the top, which of course you can cycle out once you're in the water. This was just air that was retained in the check valve. 
while I inverted it just for display purposes here. So we've got a full sample of liquid. If we wanted to dis discharge that in the water or on deck, simply run the syringe down again. And here you go. Maximum 17 psi. And you can see the liquid coming out of the exhaust valve. It's a very, very simple operation. Low pressure sampling tool. Maximum of 17 psi. Cracking around 12. Average of around 15. So as it comes back on deck, any gas is automatically bled off to a safe limit. So that's the new Vortex hydraulically operated gas and liquid sample tool. Give the team at uh, Ashtead a call and uh, they'll be more than happy to help you out.